Welcome back to Medical Videopedia. Today we will be discussing the three major types of skin cancer. Most skin cancers begin in the epidermis, your skin's top layer. The epidermis is the thinnest layer of skin, but is responsible for protecting you from the outside world and is composed of five layers of its own. Where your skin cancer begins determines its type and your treatment options. There are three major types of skin cancer, basal cell carcinoma, squamous cell carcinoma, and melanoma. The epidermis contains three main cell types. Squamous cells. These are flat cells in the outer part of the epidermis. They constantly shed as new cells form. The skin cancer that can form in these cells is called squamous cell carcinoma. Basal cells. These cells lie beneath the squamous cells. They divide, multiply, and eventually get flatter and move up in the epidermis to become new squamous cells, replacing the dead squamous cells that have sloughed off. Skin cancer that begins in basal cells is called basal cell carcinoma. Melanocytes. These skins make melanin, the brown pigment that gives skin its color and protects your skin against some of the sun's damaging UV rays. Skin cancer that begins in the melanocytes is called melanoma. Skin cancer occurs when errors, mutations, occur in the DNA of skin cells. The mutations cause the cells to grow out of control and form a mass of cancer cells. Basal cell carcinoma is the most common skin cancer, usually occurs in sun-exposed areas of your body, such as your neck or your face. Basal cell carcinoma signs may appear as a flat flesh-colored or brown scar-like lesion, a bleeding or scabbing sore that heals and returns, often looks like flesh-colored round growth pearl-like bump or a pinkish patch of skin. They are common on the head, neck, and arms. However, they can form anywhere on the body, including the chest, abdominal, and legs. Squamous cell carcinoma occurs on sun-exposed areas of your body, such as your face, ears, and hands. People with darker skin are more likely to develop squamous cell carcinoma on areas that aren't often exposed to the sun. Squamous cell carcinoma may appear as a firm red nodule, a flat lesion with a scaly crusted surface. Melanoma can develop anywhere on your body and otherwise normal skin or in an existing mole that becomes cancerous. Melanoma most often appears on the face or trunk of affected men. In women, this type of cancer most often develops on the lower legs. In both men and women, melanoma can occur on skin that hasn't been exposed to the sun. Melanoma can affect people of any skin tone. In people with darker skin tones, melanoma tends to occur on the palms of the soles or under the fingernails or toenails. Melanoma signs include a large brownish spot with darker speckles, a mold that changes in color, size, or feel, or that bleeds, a small lesion with an irregular border and portions that appear red, pink, white, blue, or blue-black, a painful lesion that itches or burns, dark lesions on your palms, soles, fingertips, or toes, or on mucous membranes lining your mouth, nose, vagina, or anus. Nearly one in five people develop skin cancer sometime in their life. Nearly all skin cancers can be cured if found and treated early. Treatments include excision, cryotherapy, MAS surgery, chemotherapy, and radiation. Check your skin for any changes in size, shape, or color of skin growths. See your dermatologist once a year for professional skin checkups. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. If this information has helped you in any way, please share this video with your friends, family, or anyone else you feel like will benefit from this video. If you want to support our work, please consider donating to our Patreon, PayPal, or Venmo. Links below in the description. Talk to you again soon.